Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. It's a lovely evening tonight. We have been to the shops and we have managed to get seven nights of dinner for working out around four pounds per person and 500 calories. If you want to find out what these are all about, then please stay tuned and I'll be sure to show you. So we've got a really busy week ahead. Of course, I love cooking, as you well know, and we'd love to try new foods. But for us this week, convenience and healthy choices was our priority. So James and I have been to the retail park and we have nipped in to M&S. Of course, you all know that my most recent video was with regards to M&S food, but this is really down to the crux of the matter, and that is eating healthily and saving ourselves a little bit of time. And that's what we need to do sometimes. We're all busy people, we've all got things that we need to do that we prioritise, over spending a lot of time in the kitchen. And of course, we have just had our kitchen all done up. Yes, I absolutely love it, but I just don't have the time this week. And that is why I want to show you that you can make good choices, they can be cost effective, they can be really good value for money, and of course, delicious. So let's get into it and see what we've got. So as I said, we've got seven nights of dinners for James and I, and it works out. I've got a little receipt here, so I'll just let you know. We spent a total of £57.55, pence, and that works out £8.21 per meal, and that serves two of us, of course. If you wanted to, that would work out £4.10 per person per day. Now, we haven't just got meat. We have got lots of other things along here as well with us today to show you. So I will just start and hopefully you will enjoy. But before I get into that, if you are enjoying this content, if you're enjoying this video, then please remember to like, share and subscribe at the end. Or if you have watched any of my other videos, then please feel free to go back and watch any of the other ones you might not have seen yet. It really does mean the world to me. I haven't done YouTube videos for a few weeks just because we have been getting our new kitchen done, but I did promise you that we would be doing more regular uploads and this is it. We're starting all already all over again, if I can see it. Um, so it really does mean the world to me that all of you who are and still do watch my videos and subscribe to the videos are continuing to do so. For anyone who's a member, I absolutely am so grateful for all of you who have chosen to become members. If you haven't chosen to become a member and it's something that you would like to know more about, then please just leave a comment in the box below. There is some information on my YouTube home screen, sort of home channel as well, um, homepage channel, sorry. And again, if there is anything I can ever help you out with, then you know just to ask. I'm a much, much of an open book as I can be. And um, I'll always try to make sure that I give you the best information and of course, true information about what we are getting up to, what we're enjoying, and of course, what we feel is good value for money. So let's get started. <laughs> so we have got a few multi-buy deals in here and they are great value for money in my, my perspective, my opinion. Um, but first of all, what we'll do is we'll just remind you all that these are round about 500 calories per portion, per person. So when you hear me say this is so many calories, it is per person, it's not for the full amount of food. So it's just to be super aware, if you are calorie counting and you are wanting to make healthier choices, you obviously want to keep your portion control um, under control. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll start off with this. So we've not had this one before, but this is part of the two for 10 pounds mix and match deal in m &S. And this is British chicken breast and a mustard sauce wrapped in British unsmoked bacon. So it does say on here that you can pop it in the oven for 30 minutes. But what I've been doing with these meals recently is just taking the film sort of covering off and just popping the full dish in my air fryer. We have a really big Ninja air fryer and so it's handy for cooking these things, but in a fraction of the time and I've never had a problem. I do just use the meat thermometer that we've got in the house. It's just quite a cheap one from Amazon, but it does the job and it makes sure that everything is safe to eat, which is the main thing. Um, and everything's always turned out really nicely. So I would definitely recommend popping it in your air fryer if you can fit it in. Um, so yeah, so these are 306 calories for half of the pack, which is one chicken breast each. And we also have some creamed spinach with shallots. So this contains two portions again, obviously half, we're, we're sharing it, James and I, and this is just microwavable. So it's really quick and easy. It's vegetarian and for half of the pack, it's 143 calories. So all in all, that meal, if you chose to do that on your own at home, would be 449 calories per person, per portion. So again, really good value for money. If you wanted to add any other things on the side, like low calorie vegetables, you know, any sort of um, steamed stuff, steamed vegetables and things that you have in your freezer. I personally love 
you know, grabbing one of them out, popping it in the microwave for a few minutes. It's a really good addition and it's quick, easy and pretty cheap to just bulk out your meals. And again, 449 calories. Most of these vegetable steam bags are about 50, 60 calories each. So again, you're, you're close to the 500 calorie sort of mark for a good, filling, nutritious, but tasty dinner. And I think that's a really, really important thing to remember is that you can eat healthily and you can calorie count and you can obviously have calories that you use up quite quickly and you can have calories that you can spread out a little bit more against the value of what you're actually getting from your food. So again, it's really important to remember that you want to fill up your plate as much as possible with the sort of healthier options. Um, so more protein and again, sort of like carby, lower carb vegetables like broccoli and things like that. We thoroughly enjoy it. And again, the fact that this is creamed spinach um, with shallots and it's got cream, butter, shallots and cheese in there and it's still only 143 calories for half of the pack. I mean, I just think that's amazing to be honest. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. The next one we have on our list today is... Let me get it all out for you, sorry. So this is part of the two for, ten, two for 10 deal as well. And it's sea bass fillets with chili and lime butter with fresh coriander. And again, all oven cooked. But um, this is 155 calories for half the pack. So I'll just spin that round so you can see it. That's what it looks like. And it's got ginger, lime, chili butter, sliced red chilies and coriander. So really looking forward to that. I think that will be delicious. I personally love sea bass. Um, and again, part of the two for 10 deal you could pay well over that for some sea bass in the shop. And I know given it is quite a small portion, it's not like a huge fillet of sea bass per person or it's not a whole fillet um, you know, of sea bass, but at the end of the day, it's enough, it's a portion. So I think we just need to be mindful of that. Um, we also have the purple sprouting broccoli and fine beans mix. So this is steam, boil or microwave option. So it's up to yourselves how you cook this. And it's a 200 gram pack and for half of the pack it's 37 calories. So really looking forward to that. And on the side we've, we've decided to have some smashed potatoes with herby salsa verde drizzle. And these are vegan actually, which is good. Um, so for half of the pack it's 232 calories. So that's what they look like. So all in all, for that meal, you are talking 424 calories per person, per portion. Um, so again, a lot of food there for the calories that you would be consuming if you chose to have something similar to what we've got planned. And again, really healthy but tasty food. And that's what I'm all about. So the next item on our list is slightly, very slightly, slightly over 500 calories, but you know, we won't be too strict with each other, will we? Um, so this is tomato and basil sauce. It's rich and herby. It's vegetarian friendly. It's also freezable. So if you didn't want to use all of this up, obviously it would be less calories. Um, but we're probably just going to use the tub, to be honest, because we generally have pasta maybe like once a week. Um, so for half of the pot, it's 124 calories. And we've also picked up some ham and cheese tortellini, which cooks in three to four minutes. Um, so it's British honey roast ham and provolone cheese and the use by dates on these are very good if you're looking for something that lasts a bit longer in your fridge. So these are actually a use by date of the middle of September eh, which is about a month and a half away at the moment which is really good. So per one third of the pack is 257 calories. You can also freeze this but we've sort of rounded it up. So we're probably just going to share that and just have the sauce with it just for a really quick dinner. Um, and so it works out 509 calories per person, per portion. Now, obviously, if you wanted to have it out um, over a third, you know, obviously you would have an extra portion that maybe somebody could take to work the next day or maybe one person might have pasta the next night, someone else might have something else. Again, if you lived on your own, which I did used to for quite a long time, then technically that would do you three dinners which is pretty good. It's also freezable, as we said. So again, you could split it up as is the sauce. You could pop the sauce into little tubs, little containers, and you'd have measured portions three times over for three different meals. And I think for the cost, it's excellent, to be honest. Um, so pop that down. Moving on, we have got this sort of fish cake pack here, which we've always wanted to try. Um, so it's the best ever fish cake, which 
you may think is really fancy and really high in calories just because it's the best ever range. Um, and within M&S, generally those are the more luxurious, higher fat, higher calorie sort of like products. And of course, sometimes they have a higher price tag. But with regards to this fish cake, they are melt in the middle. They are 384 calories each which obviously is a bit higher, but you've got to be mindful that there's potatoes in there, there's lovely fish, and of course it's in breadcrumbs, so we can't complain too much, but it is a real treat. Um, but basically in the fish cake, there's cod, smoked haddock, smoked Scottish salmon fillet, mixed with light fluffy mash, mature cheddar, so cheese as well, and herbs. So yeah, obviously it's not something you'd have every week, but it's definitely something that I am really, really going to enjoy. Um, and it's freezable as well. So again, if you did live on your own, as with all of these meals, they can be split and you could eat them two days in a row, or you could have one, miss a day, have one the next day, or whatever you want to do with it. And I think, you know, a lot of a lot of sort of food items you can get these days are often not that freezer friendly. Whereas what we found with M&S food is that it definitely is. So it's always about just looking at and planning your week. And certainly that's what we do at the beginning of every week. And it tends to work out well. Um, I have done it for the last year and a bit as well. And after getting to, you know, a six stone loss, I sort of feel like I've got a good handle on it now. So it does make me worry a little bit less and I don't need to think about it as much. But for anyone who is on a weight loss journey, who is just starting or who maybe finding it difficult, you know, it's not easy to keep going with these things, then these are really good options just to give you a little bit of a change, a little bit of an idea, and again, motivation if you're enjoying the food. It might even be that you try one of these, and they are all pretty low calorie, obviously we've said that already, so it may even be that doing this video today might help some of you to make some of this food from scratch at home, or you may look up some recipes as well, which may sound similar to what we've got here. And if that is the case, then I'd be really grateful if you let me know how you get on with that. And finally, as part of this, this meal, we've got garlic mushrooms with cream cheese, garlic, and topped with breadcrumbs. Now, this is for two people. It does say two portions on the pack, and per half of the pack is 111 calories, which does surprise me. Now, I know mushrooms are very low calorie and they're very good for you. There's lots of vitamin D in them as well. But I did think they were going to be a lot higher in calories just due to the cream cheese and the sort of breadcrumbs and things. So again, pick, pick things up, have a look at them. And most of the time, it's not as bad as you think. And even if it is a little bit higher calorie or it's completely off the scale, it's a treat. So try not to beat yourself up too much about it because life is worth living and it's worth enjoying. Obviously, we need to rein it in at times. We have to. That's all part of moderation. But if we can get the balance right most of the time, then I think we're all doing pretty well. So I'll pop that down. Um, so all in all, for the mushrooms and fish cakes is going to be 495 calories. Now, again, as I said earlier, we may add in some extra vegetables and things like that on the side, but it's not going to be much more than 500 calories. Um, so yeah, hopefully we will enjoy that, which I'm sure we will, because I really like fish. James and I love seafood and fish, and so having a nice fish cake is a bit of a treat. So the next item on our list here is a product you will have seen me talk about before, but these are the wood-fired pizzas and they are the M&S collection ones. Now, they do work out better value if you buy these rather than the good for you or count on us range, sorry. Um, the count on us range from M&S is actually a little bit more expensive per pizza and so there's not much difference in calories. So my advice would be to buy these ones. So this is what they look like. And this one is ultra thin spicy chicken arabiata and it's 398 calories. And this one is an ultra thin margarita with basil pesto and it's 405 calories. Now, what I've done is I have actually sort of added up both pizzas and halved it just because James and I will share each pizza. So I'll have half of the margarita basil one. He'll have half of that one. And then I'll have half of the chicken. He'll have the other half of the chicken. Um, and we will also have one piece of cheesy garlic bread slices each. So just one slice each. And so that will equate to a total of 496 calories, um, which I don't think is bad for a pizza night at all when you're trying to calorie count. Um, and I think, you know, for the middle of the week or for the weekend, 
you know, there is a lot of scope for overindulging and obviously, oh, it's the weekend or whatever. Yeah, obviously, we've got to look forward to these things, but it doesn't mean we have to completely go off the rails and off the tracks. So it's always good just to see if there are things out there that take your fancy that you want to enjoy a little bit more often without sabotaging yourself. Um, and the last two options that we have here, let me move that out of the way at the moment, is the pork saltimbocca, which you will have seen me talk about before because I absolutely love it. Um, and this is British outdoor bread pork loin saltimbocca wrapped in prosciutto with a sage butter. And for half of the pack, which is one steak or one pork loin, is 207 calories and that's what they look like. And we are planning on having chunky Mediterranean style vegetable mix with that. And that's what that looks like. So it's courgette, red onion and peppers. And it does say pop it in the oven, but I've again very happily cooked them in the air fryer before with some fry light. And they've always turned out really, really good. So for half of the pack, we've got 207, yep. 414 calories if we have half of the bag and one of the pork lines. So again, very good value for money, food, calories wise. And personally for me, I must admit, it's one of my absolute favorite things that I've bought from m and in my life. <laughs> um, I know a few people have also said as well that, you know, their husbands or their wives or their children have really, really enjoyed the pork salt salt and bocca as well. So it's really just to say that it's great to hear that you've enjoyed it as much as you have and you know you've taken my recommendation and it's turned out really good so thank you for letting me know and again as always with anything that's here please let me know if you've had it you've tried it or you're going to try it and um, it always just makes me feel really uplifted knowing that these videos are actually helping people and last but not least we have a new option that we've not tried before and this is the masala marinated chicken breasts with a baji crumb and mango chutney. And again, this is part of the two for £10 deal in m &S. So this is what it looks like. Personally, really looking forward to trying this. And it's 270 calories for half of the pack, which is like one chicken breast. Now, obviously, a lot of the calories will probably be coming from the crumb, the badgy, onion badgy crumb, and also the mango chutney. It's got quite a lot of sugar in it. And so that's why there's slightly higher calories, I would, I would say, than, than you would maybe expect. Um, we also have a tub of basmati rice as well. Now, we were trying to think of like a low calorie thing to have with the masala rice and masala breasts but we sort of thought well we would normally have rice so how many calories is the rice can we just go and find out so anyway we just went for the normal basmati it's got some seasoning in there as well um so it's got cumin clove cardamom and curry leaves and obviously normally it's a side dish and it's also feasible but it's 203 calories for half of the pack and so all in all, it's 473 calories for that meal. So all in all, that takes us to the end of what we've bought tonight. As I said, the total was 57 pounds and 55 pence. And it did work out at eight pounds 21 per meal. So that works out four pounds 10 per portion. Um, now, obviously, as I said earlier on in the video, the whole point of us buying food like this is so it's convenient it's delicious, it keeps us on track. And actually, if we were to go and buy everything that we have here individually, and then factor in having to cook it all from scratch, it would be a lot more than 57 pounds, 55 pence. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I am really looking forward to dinners for the next week. I cannot wait. I'm really excited to try it all. And a lot of these things are things that we, we would never have generally have picked up or put together before. Now, obviously, as I said, we may add some additional things in like vegetables, salads, etc. And that's absolutely fine because the calorie density of those foods are going to be very, very low, but the filling power will be really high. And that's what it's all about. The nutritional, nutritional value will also be even higher in the form of vitamins and minerals, etc. from these vegetables that we may or may not have. But 
obviously you know you can mix and match any of the stuff that's here it's just how we've put it together and I hope you have enjoyed the video so thank you so much for tuning in I'm really grateful for all of your continued support please stay tuned for the next one and I will catch up with you soon thank you take care bye